So I was just in here in the pontoon getting everything ready, like, you know, getting the camera set up and whatever. And I'm checking my list to make sure that I have the right day because I always forget the day number and it's awful. And I just said, next up, Monica. And Alexa started talking and telling me all about Monica because we have an Alexa in here. I guess I should have led with that and started telling me all about some Monica that's some sort of singer, but not like the Monica that we would know from the 90s, the singer, the R&B singer, just some random like Christian singer. And I'm like, what in the actual effing world is happening right now? Because I didn't even say Alexa. And also I have said Alexa like five times in this video and she's still not talking. And I honestly thought that when I said next up, Monica, she would start talking again just to prove how weird that was. So she's clearly messing with me. The point to all of this is we are doing Monica from Friends today in soap form and I'll tell you more about it in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. What day is it though? How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 68 of 365 days of soap, year two, and yeah, we're doing the Monica bar today. Or I am doing the Monica bar today because this one is mine. And we are using a nature's garden scent that's like sugared pine or frosted pine, whatever. I talk about it in the video and I show you the things, so there's that. But yeah, this pour is actually really weird. And yeah, we're following up from the Ross pour and there were like three options that this little thing that I did inside of there could have looked like. And some of them kind of did look like the turkey, like the turkey head with the fez. And I'm like, that's cool, but I don't want that to be the case because I already knew that I was wanted to do the turkey for Monica. So that's what we are doing. This is going to be a pine salt scented bar, which actually sounds gross. It doesn't actually smell like pine salt. It smells like pine, but you know, because she likes to clean with the turkey, with the glasses and the fez, it's wild. Let's go check it out. So when I asked lots of people what Monica should smell like, they all said pine salt. So that's what we're doing. We are uh, scenting the, the Monica bar with pine salt. Well, I mean, it's not pine salt. You saw it. It's frosted pine cones from Nature's Garden. I should not be, you know, inaccurate in my words when you can see it with your eyes. Anyway, yeah, so frosted pine, pine cones from Nature's Garden. Now, I have not met a pine or tree scent blend yet that doesn't accelerate so my assumption is it's gonna now well we're doing some emulsion tests here checks here because that's fun so still a little thin we're gonna keep working on this see because the thing is the majority of the soap really doesn't have to be super thin for this particular design and i'm doing something real weird with this design like real weird i'm making the turkey like the turkey head with the glasses and the fez yeah that's happening so it's gonna be awesome. Yes. So yeah, Monica, that's that's a thing. Like making the turkey head is cool. Or you know, it, it would be if Ross hadn't looked like, you know, either an armadillo or a couch or 
the turkey. And so I guess I just should have changed my, my plan for this one. But I really didn't want to. Like I had all the things all figured out. But I also wanted to get the actual like glasses, the sunglasses and the fez onto the turkey. Like when they're wearing the turkey. Side note, have you ever thought about how disgusting that is? Do you honestly think that like... I mean, I'm going to assume that obviously they didn't, they didn't really do that. And it was like a prop of a turkey. Because that was a big ass turkey. One. That would take like two days to cook. But, you know, B. You could not pay me enough money in the world. I mean, it was a funny skit, I guess. But like funny, like cringe. Right? It was one of those like cringy things. Like, uh, uh, uh The writers were dialing it in for the Thanksgiving recipe or episode, right? Recipe, what the hell's the matter with you? Yeah, so gross. Just the idea of, I mean, you could get salmonella or something. I mean, don't quote me on that. I don't actually know if that's accurate, but my assumption is if we're not supposed to mess around with raw poultry, it's probably not a good idea to like have it all up in on your face where you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different points of entry, like actual orifices, you know, gross. But anyway, I'm making the turkey because it was ridiculous. And I don't know, I was going to put like a chef's hat in the middle of it, but then I just decided I didn't want to. And oh my God. I hope that me, you know, dropping that on my gloves is not a sign of things to come for this poor. So, I'm just a disaster. All you know what, you guys? I am trying my best, okay? I, I am just a messy soaper. It's just part of my life. So, there's that. But, yeah, no, that weird fleshy color there is going to be the, uh, the turkeys. And that's cool. And the way that I'm pouring this is also cool-ish. I mean, I'm just playing with things. I'm gonna, gonna see if this works out. So, you know, we should go to the actual pouring part and you can watch along with, the, with me while it works out. Okay, now on to the pour. Now, I actually did decide to, with this pour, do that little thing with like the Amy Warden Soap Challenge thing that I totally talk so much shit about you know, when we were doing it, like, because it was a pipe divider swirl thing, right? Like, you don't really need the pipes in order to do a cool swirl within a slab. Just put your circles in the right place. You're fine. Shit. I... Cool. Yeah. But, so with this one, I just took a paper towel roll and cut it down to about one inch, you know, chunks and used some cocoa butter to secure the paper towel pieces to the bottom of the mold. And I'm pouring around it, and then I'm going to use that little fleshy color for the to fill the inside, except for that one, because, you know, obviously it already has the bluey green in it. And I don't know why I went with this color, but oh, look at the, look at the ricing. We got a little bit of ricing there. So that's fun. And also my alarms are going off. That alarm said it's time for coffee. I have those alarms that tell me when it's time for coffee, because that's important. Actually, I really don't know why I have that alarm. I'm, it's always time for coffee in my world. Anyway, so as you can see, a little bit of rising. I just started up. Everything's great. But I have, again, never met a single tree-ish scent blend that doesn't accelerate and or rice. And so I expected that moving in. I do not remember what it said on Nature's Gardens, on Nature's Gardens website about whether or not it accelerates or rices or whatever. But, you know, I assumed it was going to. And that's okay. So... My thinking is with this pour, I'm going to pour in all this fleshy looking batter and then I'm going to pull those, those, uh, those little, little piece of cardboard out and then I'm going to kind of like skewer it around and then do some, you know, decorate. It's going to be a thing for sure. I still can't believe that was like in the show or one of the most memorable things of the show, which is really weird because that show went for 10 years. You think I would have had, I mean, I have all of the box sets, like every season in a boxed edition, you know, on the DVD, which I haven't put into a DVD player in at least 12 years. I mean, I don't even have a DVD player anymore. 
I have like gaming consoles, but that's not a DVD player, you know? Anyway, I have that. So I, you would think that I would have more to remember Monica by than just that. But, you know, whatever. She's Monica super OCD and really likes to clean and is as annoying as all of the rest of them. And that's why they're all great. But, you know, so aside from pine salt, what the hell was I going to do with it? Make it smell like pine salt and what? So this worked. And look at that. See, I'm not actually scraping any of that back in. You know why? Because I didn't want to mess up my turkeys. So there's that. And those are perfectly acceptable turkey bases, torsos, right? Yeah. Now let's see if we can move them around and turn them into, you know, turkeys. Put some legs on them, some wings on them, something. Yeah, like that. Like that-ish. That totally works. Uh, get your fingers out of the way. I mean, I guess I can't get my fingers out of the way because, you know, I'm actually making it right now, but it's making it hard to see what's happening. But, you know, you get the gist. You can see it afterwards. So that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no, I mean, what else would you do for Monica? Monica was also a tough one to sort of figure out. Lots of them had different options. I was talking the other day about how Rachel didn't have a lot of options and that's not actually true. There was one other immediate option that I wanted to do with her. I wanted to do the trifle, right? Where she made the trifle, but she put meat in it. And so like a layer of lady fingers and cream and jam and beef. And yeah, I, I wanted to do that too because that was funny, but you know, whatever. Oh look, my turkeys. They're totally cool. And now I'm just gonna paint the tops of them and make, you know, some sunglasses, which is cool. Now I did not put any of the scent into the yellow, the black or the red because I didn't want it to get too thick. I wanted to be able to do some painting with it. And also it's good that the fragrance oil accelerated because this batter started to set up very quickly which means these new decorations that I'm putting on the top, they're going to be raised, which is cool. It adds some extra texture to soap. And I like texture. Texture's fun. A textured wallpaper that I'm working on putting up right now. And that's fun. It's a different kind of fun. It's so weird. I spent all of this time um, skim coating all of the walls, the few walls in my house that actually stayed, which I guess is not a few, but whatever. I spent all this time skim coating them to get them, give them a completely sp flat surface because I hate textured walls. And then I found this wallpaper that's totally textured and gorgeous. And so now I'm retexturing a wall that I untextured. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I can't, I, I can't do it. But you know, whatever. That doesn't have anything to do with any of this. It's just adventures and, you know, home renovations and all that jazz. And it's. <laughs> so interesting watching me do this right now because as I was doing this I was having the weirdest conversation with my kids about this game that they're playing on their iPads where it's just it's like a Tamaguchi essentially it's called like Quake Goo Qualky I, I don't know so you have little pets, like a little unicorn or a little, you know, whatever that you feed and you brush and you give treats and your whole goal is to keep them loving you and their little heart rating up to 100%. And I'm like, that's the whole game. And they're obsessed with it. That's the coolest thing ever. And I mean, good for them. Cool. But you're feeding a unicorn pizza. I feel like unicorns probably wouldn't eat pizza. I have no idea why I'm talking about everything except this bar and friends and whatever. I'm just not in the mood to talk about friends, I guess. I don't know. What do you want to talk about with friends? You let me know. You can't because you're not here at this exact moment while I'm not talking about friends. Talk again about the season, the, the reunion thing. I tried to go back and watch it again after, you know, I talked about it in Rachel's bar. I really tried. I did. I don't know. It just made me sad. Chandler's teeth are weird now, right? Matthew Perry got some really weird 
very obvious implants and that was strange and then like so many of them again i have to go back to they're doing a little game or whatever like what was the barbershop quartets what was the next line in the barbershop quartet you know episode and rachel's like i don't know jennifer aniston is like i don't know and i'm like how did you forget did you not watch your own show and then again, I mean, I've talked about this before. I just, I, I wonder, did you watch your own show? Do you go back and do you watch the thing that you were in? I sort of imagine that they would because filming it is different than watching it because they're in, like, they're in on the take when they're filming it, right? Like, they know that this is just, that there's, this isn't the world. And so if you want to bring the illusion and the magic back to, you should watch it. Whatever. I, I've discussed this before. But, you know, I mean, so far these glasses are looking super... Ah, oh, son of... Yeah. Cool. That's like his nose or something. It's a beak because that's totally where a beak... I mean, if a torso of a turkey were wearing glasses, that's where a nose or a beak would go. So, I mean, I guess that's fine. I always find it funny that whenever I'm doing like a decorative slab thing, it's just like with the marble, marble things, I do such a good job until like the last like two and then I'm just like throwing it on like I'm done I don't want to mess with it anymore and I have some goodish bars so fine which is you're so wrong right but I mean I, I still think the ones on the other side are going to be super cute anyway so it's good We've got some weird wonky you know well they're not eyeballs get it together what are you doing what am I doing what am I talking about what are the insides of sunglasses lenses lenses yeah. Have I mentioned to you guys that I have degree in English? Like, I have a lot of education. Um, but yeah, that's 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 one of those pieces right there. That's uh, it's a whole last thing. Cool. Anyway, I love these ridiculous little fezes. Are they fezes or fedoras? Pretty sure I've been saying it right, right? I've been saying fez. It's a fez right? I don't know. I'm going to look it up real quick and we're going to find out. Oh yeah, it's totally a fez. It's like the thing that like the Shriners wear. Do you have Shriners where you are? Like the guys with that wear the little red fez hats and hang out on little mini like scooters or motorcycles like in parades and stuff? I haven't been to a parade in a long time. Do they even do parades anymore? Questions. So many questions. But yeah, there's just one more little bit on all of this, which is going to be obviously the tassel. You have to put the tassel on. And I don't know, I think my turkeys look cute. Like that's ridiculous. And I'm interested to see what this blend does when it goes through C-pop or gel and doing the saponification thing. See if it discolors at all. Because again, I don't remember what Nature's Garden's website said on this. I'm going to assume I got one that does not discolor, but you know, you never know. You never know. I could have gotten one, but these cute little turkeys all ready for the oven, which is the yeah, turkeys are ready for the oven. What's wrong with me today? Today's a weird filming day. Let's, you know what? Whatever. Let's go check out this cut. Okay. And onto the cut and look at that after it all like it's got all firm and saponified. Look how cool those turkeys look. I love all the weird texture with all of them. That's adorable. Hey, you know what? I think that's a perfect Monica bar. And there's really no, um, there's really no way to mistake this for anything but a turkey. You know what I mean? That's all, those are obviously the turkeys with the fez and the glasses and all of the things. This is, what did just happened here? Wow. Oh, sorry. I am so sorry. I just got a notification about a comment um, on a post that I'm following on a Facebook soap group. Just cause I'm like lurking. I only ever t like comment on any of those things when people are mean, but I'm lurking right now. And 
it seems that the comment section has gotten crazy again. And that's fun. This time it's about that, uh, that Dr. Squatch guy. So that's fun. Apparently everybody's big shook that he doesn't make his own soap. So, you know, whatever. It's happening again. I think we were getting weird about that a couple months ago too. Anyway, I'm... I'm not talking about anything involving this. I'm so distracted today. I'm so sorry. Yeah, look at those. Those are adorable. Come on. That's amazing. Those are just, except for that guy with his beak. I guess I should, I should have fixed that. I could have fixed it. I don't know why I didn't fix it. But you know, I didn't. So that one gets a beak. But they're all super cute. That is just a delightful Monica bar. And it's real weird to have a turkey on a bar that smells of pine. Frosted pine cones mind you. And what the frosted is, I can't really tell. So in case you, you were ever interested in that scent, it just smells like pine, like a Christmas tree, like just the Christmas tree, not like cinnamon or anything else involving Christmas. But that's day 68. It's Monica. And that is adorable. Those bars of soap are completely ridiculous and awesome. And you know, that's that's cool. There are lots of different ways to get cool patterns onto things, and this is one of them. You can totally just have a nice thin soap batter and just paint it on. That's cute for sure. And you know, using the little paper towels inside, just the paper towel roll inside and just kind of crumpling it up to make it look kind of like the turkey body. That totally works too. So I mean, it's winning all around. I'm proud of those bars. I think they're ridiculous and perfect for, you know, Monica. If you are interested in any of the Friends soaps, you can find them when we're done with the Friends series. We're not done. We will be soon. This one isn't nearly as long as the Avengers one was, so it's cool. And you can find those at soapandclay.com. I think some of the Avengers things are still on at soapandclay.com if you're interested in getting some of those though, so go check that out. There's a couple left. Yeah. If you're interested in doing the social media things, I'm there, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can send me messages there and that's super fun. Yes. If you're interested in, you know, becoming a Sudzer, click the subscribe button. It's there somewhere. That would be awesome. I would appreciate that immensely. For those of you who have clicked the subscribe button, hey, I appreciate you immensely. I hope you guys had fun today. Thank you so much for joining me for another day of 365 days of soap. I'm out of here. But I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Soapy Fun. Bye. Hey, Alexa, Monica.